So I am going to talk about the NFC payment industry and the new era, the mobile commerce. And uh, I would like to highlight uh, what's coming and what we'll be facing in the future. So uh, I'll introduce the role of NFC and our position and what we offer to the market. First of all, are we ready for uh, mobile commerce? Now, uh, as you know, iPhone, I'm sure the many of half of the people here, they have iPhone. It is the new hysteria of our era. And it is so popular now, they are developing applications for it. And another new uh, popular word is mobile. Uh, we use mobile for every uh, terminology. So it is changing the e-commerce to mobile commerce and commerce, e-payments to mobile payments, online uh, P2P mobile P2P. So mobile is in our life. And the real question is, uh, what is the difference before mobile and after mobile? and how this mobile, this intermediate does, and what are the growth opportunities. So the mobile phones gives us new uh, features. First of all, there are new places to pay with your mobile phone. There are new ways to pay, and uh, it is increased convenience and security, and improved financial management tool. And there's another uh, reason, Mobile payment, it is also cool. It looks cool. I mean, you go to Starbucks, you see those young new kids, and just because it is cool, they pay with their mobile phone. So it's uh, also a trend in the new generation. And what is this NFC used for? First of all, it's a card emulation. So this is sort of a, a contactless card, or credit card. And instead of carrying a plastic card, it is embedded in your mobile phone. And this can be used also as a reader. So this can be an active and uh, uh, can read specified by text. So if I see a, a concert uh, brochure and if I just tap my phone on the brochure or poster, I can get the concert details. Maybe I can get a discount to the RFID tag. Or Mobile handsets can be used as P2P communication, peer-to-peer. -peer. So, uh, for example, a conference, and instead of exchanging business cards, we just uh, show our mobile phones and exchange business cards uh, electronically. So, uh, these are the main usages. And uh, with NFC, what we can do with NFC, uh, besides the cashless payment, it can be used as as an ID card or time time, time attendance. So uh, instead of carrying the office tax, uh, they can upload my information here. So I tap my phone, says okay, owner is in the office at 8.59.59. And uh, it can also be used in transit. I mean, we are trying to introduce contactless cards in public transportation. So why not using NFC enabled phone? and uh, loyalty and membership, which I will mention it in the future slides. And this is the growth estimate. And this return, the research done by the Azure Dunn and Company. So this is the cash growth, only 2% in the next five years. And uh, credit cards. And here what we have in the bottom, contactless cards and mobile payments. So this is the new trend of our five, uh, next five years. And of course, uh, this is also very interesting, uh, prepaid cards, which now uh, most of the banks are focused due to uh, transportation projects or city car uh, projects. And uh, 2011, so this is the year. I mean, now all pieces, are finally coming together. I mean, if you look at it, e-commerce in the last decade, it went a lot, so it developed itself. Smartphones, the smartphone sales is increasing 
rapidly every year. And now, NFC technology. So all the necessary parts are coming together. So starting in 2011 or in the beginning of 2012, there will be a huge uh, uh, impact. And these are the shipped uh, units of uh, desktops, the black area, and these are the notebooks. And notebooks have a, you know, a steady growth. But you see, these are the tablets, and smartphones are the blue graphs. So it is growing rapidly. But we have one issue. I mean, I'm sure I also personally discussed this with, uh, uh, with a couple of you, the uh, con contactless cards. So it is a chicken and egg problem. In one side, they say, oh, they don't have enough uh, acceptance infrastructure, so why contactless? And on the other hand, they say, oh, but they don't, you don't have enough uh, contactless cards. So it's uh, chicken and egg problem. And uh, in NFC, it is the cell phone device. So they say, oh, there are not enough uh, NFC-enabled phones on the field. But I think this year, this is uh, moving over, and especially mobile operators. Uh, even Google, they are introducing NFC-enabled phones, and they are just uh, going on the field and uh, growing. So how about very phone position? Uh, you know, very phone uh, as your business partner, and uh, it said, company founded in 1981, and we are growing. In the beginning of January, uh, Bellphone acquired the uh, Gem Auto POS business. So uh, now it's under uh, Bellphone, and there are some other acquisitions on the way, which we are still expecting. The, the <coughs> and last year, we achieved our $1 billion revenue. And in every country that we are in, we are number one and number two in market shares. It's a global company. We have the widest uh, network. And why I told you this? Because we are the, in the center of this payment ecosystem. And that's also enabled us to uh, NFC ecosystem. So uh, we'll talk also about the, the, the transactions. And it's going to intelligent checkout. And Verifone has uh, partnership with operators, processors, coupon and loyalty companies. And uh, I don't know if you lay this search on uh, uh, Google, but we have some strategic partnership with Apple or Google for uh, NFC uh, payments. And uh, as Verifone rolls, uh, Verifone role, uh, we have the expertise. So we know payment. So if it, if it is payment, we know how it is done. And uh, I showed the global uh, network, so we have the global access, and partnershiping with industry leaders, like I said, uh, uh, Google or uh, Vivote or Apple, and integration capabilities. And what we offer, payment, payment is always our core business. I mean, uh, payment. Uh, is our core business and it will stay our core business. But uh, we also have solution for couponing, loyalty, and with with this new uh, technology, <coughs> we are offering analytics or reports to the merchants. And uh, for the merchants and consumers, they will be having loyal, their own loyalty programs and uh, couponing your payments. And uh, as Zakaria said, we are the first and only company with uh, devices compliant with PCI uh, 3.0. For the mobile-based payments, the consumer side, it's fast, <coughs> easy, and uh, as I said in the beginning, it's a cool way to pay. And uh, from merchant side, so it's not just a POS terminal, it's, it's not just uh, a POS terminal anymore, and uh, they will be using for alternative payments, like PayPal or uh, for Apple's pay and uh, targeted advertising and promotions, uh, which 
I can give an example. For example, uh, I enter the shopping mall, and we have a special promotion with uh, Zara. So when I enter that through my GPS, I receive a promotion code to my mobile. So it says, if you visit Zara, you will get some discount. So I go to Zara, and I tap my phone. So the system knows that I visited it, so I use the coupon. And uh, this can all be used in uh, the NFC uh, payment mode and digital coupon. <laughs> so I can also offer consumer analytics uh, and portfolio management. In store <coughs> marketing, what's happening is uh, the devices that we use, I mean, okay, this is an old device, but from point of sale, this is move, moving to point of interaction. So uh, the, the, the customers are getting involved with, uh, with the transactions. And it is creating a two-way dialogue. And uh, when I say point of interaction, you have uh, your favorite brands, which is uh, on the terminal and on the mobile phone. So intelligent checkout. So this is the keyword, intelligent checkout. So the system, or this world, knows who you are, knows where you are, like uh, I gave you the example of the shopping mall, and knows your coupons. I mean, knows your best brand, uh, best uh, brand, uh, like you like uh, the Bebe brand or Zara brand. And uh, it is a single user interface and clean experience. So that is the new uh, word, intelligent checkout. And how about mobile phone uh, as an integrator for consumer marketing, the top brands, and uh, integrating with uh, Google, Yahoo, Bing. The main issue is here, uh, these companies, they all created a world in a virtual uh, platform. So somehow, to bring this to a physical platform, to, to the real uh, finance world, payment world, they need our uh, intelligent checkout devices. And that's why uh, we are doing the, the strategic partnership. And uh, social media, I, I'm sure most of us has a, a Facebook account here. So with the very from POS at the store, I just had the, uh, the reference ID number or the barcode to activate the discount. Shopkick, again a very interesting uh, business model. So these guys, they uh, you collect key points. That is uh, very popular nowadays in the in US. Uh, and you receive offers to your mobile phone and saying that if you visit, uh, I always give Simicon Zara or Saturn or any electronic shop, now you will have 50 key points. So people are, uh, when they receive the offer, they enter the store. So once you enter the store, the phone knows your location and you earn 50 key points. And if you make a transaction or if you make a purchase, you receive more key points and you, you collect those key points and uh, anytime you can redeem, you can uh, purchase a uh, free hard disk or a free uh, dinner, but uh, it is location based um, uh, coupon and it is very popular and again, to uh, from that virtual world to come to our physical world, they need our hardware acceptance, uh, the indoor hardware as an acceptance point. And uh, you know, there are alternative uh, payments, PayPal, also uh, a strategic partner for Verifone, uh, and loyalty um, schemes. So they all come to the intelligent checkout point.